Hello, mystery enthusiasts. Welcome to Objective Outlook, the hub for intriguing content that challenges the norm and where we focus on sharing truth over trend. Looking to join us? Just hit subscribe, ring the bell, and be part of our thrilling adventures. Now, are you strapped in for today's mystery? Get ready as we're about to pose the ultimate question. Have you ever pondered the of mortality? This is a question that has humanity since the dawn of time, a universal conundrum that transcends boundaries and epochs. As we traverse the river of life, the enigma of our own mortality is as expansive as the universe itself. In this episode, we explore the uncharted territory territory, life after death. This complex riddle has left and alike scratching their heads, igniting endless discussions and even turmoil. It puts our understanding of reality to the test. So what is death? The medical world defines it as the end of all life-sustaining functions. The heart pauses, the mind ceases, and all, all bodily functions come to a halt. It's an unavoidable fact of life, even if we feel invincible in our best years. But what transpires after the last heartbeat and final thought? What happens when our physical form can no longer contain us? This marks the conclusion, the physical aspect of death, and the commencement of the metaphysical journey. Our physical shell, the body, embarks on its own adventure. It stops, decomposes, and eventually becomes one with the Earth. As the physical journey concludes, the question about the journey of the soul or consciousness arises. Before we embark on this thrilling journey, let's fortify our bond. If this timeless mystery captivates your mind, display your support. Give this video a thumbs up and spread the word. Together, we'll decode the riddle of life after death. Don't miss out on the adventure. Ensure you're part of our Objective Outlook family by hitting subscribe. We're on a mission to unravel the enigmas of existence and the afterlife. Your intrigue is our driving force. So, ready yourself. Our next destination is where the tangible fades and the intangible emerges. Upon death, the body embarks on a post-mortem journey. First, the heart and brain cease their activities and the body relaxes, potentially releasing fluids. The blood darkens and pools due to liver mortis. Algor mortis follows, cooling the body before rigor mortis causes temporary stiffness. Lastly, decomposition breaks the body down to its base elements. The skeleton turns to dust over time. Yet, a question persists. What happens to the essence, the laughter, thoughts, dreams and memories that once dwelled within the physical shell? This mystery of life after death remains an enigma we strive to unravel. Throughout the annals of time, various models have been suggested, suggested about the mysteries of the afterlife. Let's delve into three of them. Renowned philosopher René Descartes postulated the dualism theory suggesting that the human entity is a combination of the physical and the immaterial soul. Descartes theorized that even when the body ceases to exist, our immortal souls carry on their journey. Fast forwarding to the 1800s, Friedrich Nietzsche, a German philosopher, brought forth the idea of eternal recurrence, stating that existence isn't linear as perceived, but instead recurs in an infinite cycle. This concept challenges our understanding of life and introduces a form of existence beyond our grasp. Moving to the East, Buddhism speaks of reincarnation, the soul's rebirth in a new form after death. This cycle of life, death and rebirth, also known as samsara, is believed to continue until one reaches nirvana, a state of liberation and enlightenment. From this angle, Death is merely a stepping stone in a more significant spiritual voyage. These theories, from Descartes' dualism to Nietzsche's eternal recurrence and Buddhism's reincarnation, each offer their unique perspective on what happens after. As we continue to speculate and question perhaps one day, we will unravel the mystery of life after death. Near-death experiences, or NDEs, are significant varying events shared by those who have had close calls with death. The experiences can range from peaceful stillness to intense spiritual revelations. During these moments, some have described feeling a sense of peace, being drawn towards a luminous light, seeing loved ones who've passed away, or even moving through a dark tunnel into a realm realm of infinite love and knowledge. On the other hand, some recount feeling trapped in a silent, desolate void. 
These narratives are often shaped by personal beliefs, cultural backgrounds and mental states. After coming back, individuals often undergo a profound transformation, gaining a revived appreciation for life and a different perspective on death. Although science proposes explanations like chemical reactions, psychological defense strategies, or hallucinations due due to lack of oxygen, these don't fully explain the transformative effect. These experiences, while not providing definitive answers, provide fascinating glimpses into the enigma of life after death. With each story, we inch closer to understanding the ultimate mystery. Death. In our exploration today, we delved into the physical process of death, death, beginning with termination of brain activity and ending with the body's return to the natural elements. We also examined the divergent theories and beliefs about life after death, from the philosophical contemplations of Descartes and Nietzsche to the spiritual teachings, Buddhism. In addition, we detailed accounts those who claim to have peeked through death's door, their narratives rich with and a sense of peaceful tranquility. Nevertheless, the ultimate truth about life after death remains elusive. As we continue our journey through this mystery, we are constantly reminded of life of life after death's enduring allure and profound 